Good afternoon. This is Chris from Tips and Tricks. Um, you can follow me on Life is Fun as well as um, CMBMD79 on Twitter as well as Tips tricksentral.blogspot.com and of course um, my YouTube site where you'll be seeing this um, presented. Today we're going to talk about green screen in Studio 17. This is the latest software um, from Pinnacle and um, it does uh, have some extras in terms of uh, comparison to 16 but uh, when we look at green screen, green screen has pretty much remained the same. So we're going to go over how to do a green screen video in Pinnacle, okay? So first thing is you need to have a video um, that has green screen. So I have some select video here, which I will show you, um, which I've already taken, okay? Um, you can see when I click on it. You'll notice the um, the background, okay? Essentially, is green, and um, this is what we need, okay? Because the reason being is green and blue uh, screen or chroma key is quite different on the color spectrum from any other colors, and so you're able to uh, take these colors out and make the video transparent using. Uh, various backgrounds, uh, video as well as uh, images to change the setting or uh, where you are and it's you know a, a much cheaper way to do things um, when compared with um, you know previously having to actually be in that location okay so what we're going to do is we're going to import that video and I'm going to also import um, some photos and show you how I can use them as backgrounds okay so first I'm going to import these, uh, I'm going to put one of them, okay, and this is pretty simple, you know, but it requires you to have green screen, um, or blue screen, okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that video, I'm just going to find it, and it's right here, okay, and I'm going to drag this into track three, all right, so it will take some time for this video to render um, and you know but we're going to shorten it so that the rendering time is a lot quicker you can see the green screen here all right so i'm going to take section of video and show you And it may not always be perfect depending on the light, but the goal is to obviously have the light um, as well as uh, possible. So now you can actually see the green screen going on here and um, what we're doing, okay? And this is what I will be showing you. All right. So. Now what I'm going to do is I want to put myself in a, a certain situation setting. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to want to um, find a, an image, okay? So in this case, I'm going to take uh, any image I have here. Um, let's see. Let's pull an image in. Let's try this. So we have a um, simple photo. I'm just going to pull right in. Okay. And you'll see here it, there's some rendering going on, okay? If I want to lengthen this, I want, uh, you know, I need to drag it, okay? And now I have, in track three, I have my green screen video, and in track four, I have the, the photo, okay? Um, you want to make sure that the photo is actually um, taking up the entire screen, so I'm going to right-click on it, scaling, 
and I'm going to fill, okay? Now what I'm going to do is, I want to get the green screen, I want to get this green out of here, okay? And I just want me to be showing. So I'm going to double click on the video uh, portion, which is in AV Track 3, okay? And you'll notice it comes up. And now I want to look at the effects. So in Studio 17, these are your effects. You have 2D, 3D effects, camera effects, uh, color, uh, and and here. So we're using keyers, and we're using the Studio Chroma Key. So I'm going to click on this, okay? And what do you immediately notice? You notice that the background's gone. I didn't have to even do a thing, okay? You may have some spots that show up because of the lighting. In that case, you're going to select settings here and you're going to alter um, the color tolerance, which will generally max out. And the softness you can take down, you know, all the way down to the bottom. And this will, in general, it'll take care of all that, okay? So you'll see it rendering here and you'll notice that the background will change and what do you know, okay? So let's say we wanted to have multiple backgrounds. So we're going to change where we are, the setting, all right? So I can just grab another picture and pull it in and I can then lengthen that. You notice it doesn't cover the whole area here. So what do I want to do? I want to right click on this. I want to go to scaling and I want to fill, okay? So that will fill the background with the image, okay? Now, to give you an idea of how green screen works, anything that's green that I'm wearing is going to show up as background. So when you see that I put the green screen hat on or hoodie, the alien, um, it will take the green out, only the eyes will be present and it will show the background. All right, so um, when I put the gloves on, um, it will take away my arms, okay? So I put a little lacrosse helmet on, but you see me holding the green screen hoodie. And because it's green, and I've selected to uh, make transparent green, you notice it shows a hole in my little stomach there. All right, so I'm gonna put that over my head. And what do you see? My head disappear, but since the eyes are blackened in on that hoodie, you'll notice that that shows up. And now I'm gonna put the helmet on. And what do you notice? We have a headless guy with a helmet on, okay? Now I'm gonna take my jacket off and I'm gonna put these sleeves on. These are green screen sleeves, okay? And what we need to do is, here we need to actually lengthen um, our photo length, all right, so we can show you the rest of it. So I put on the sleeves, and what do you notice? My arms are gone, okay? I take the helmet off. And then I take off the mask, and you can see my arms are gone. So this is how, you know, in Hollywood and other areas, you see the um, chopping of hands off or arms, and then you bring blood into the picture and so on and so forth. This is how you put um, news reporters, they may not even be there, but you can put them there, um, with green screen, okay? Um, dangerous situations, so on and so forth. So this is how you do green screen. Uh, effects and you can put video in the background um, the same thing so if you want to get the effect of being somewhere in you know some distant uh, some distant land there um, and you have video uh, it's quite simple okay so I can take um, any video here and you'll notice that I'm in front of it Okay, so this is green screen. This is the green screen effect. If you have any questions, message me. As far as software is concerned, um, Pinnacle Studio 17 is quite easy to use. Um, there are a lot of plugins, so you can do a lot of effects, special effects, and it has worked wonderful for me. Um, so if you have any questions, message me, and um, take care and have a wonderful weekend.